Hey guys, welcome to Josie's. Come on in, let me make you a coffee. This is Josie's, our coffee shop. Myself, Josie, the Hair family, the Latouf family, and a couple of friends who are involved with this. We, uh, we started Black, White, Red probably six years ago now, um, and then merged with Josie's, which was a local venture. And now there are three Josie's, there's one in Bishop's Wolfham, one in Petersfield, where we are today, and one in Winchester. One of the guys I was involved with was an ex-professional cricketer, Kevin Latouf, who played for Hampshire, so we're very much on a similar wavelength. Um, always looking for something outside of the sport to try and to try and grow and evolve with. We're still here at the moment, uh, still enjoying it, um, and going quite well. So here we are, as you know, I'm more uh, a mocker man than a coffee, but I'm gonna give a coffee a go. Latte, let's do a latte, shall we? Go on then, leave it to it. Here we go. <laughs> Always gonna make sure it's nice and clean, eh? Nice country. you want to hear that? Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not down here making the coffees every day and stuff like that, but I like to know what's kind of going on in the running so that when you do retire and you do need that transition at your next career, whatever that be, uh, hopefully you know how to do the profit and losses, you know how to run a business and you can kind of move forward. Then here we go, the moment of truth, eh? So and here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Tastes good, doesn't look great. For myself, I love going to speak to people who are at the top of the game, no matter what the industry, and, and seeing what makes them tick. Before we actually got set up, we went to the guy who was a driving force behind making prep what it is today, Pizza Express what it is, and it's just brilliant to get these ideas and, and just seeing how how they get the best out of people, how they get the best out of staff and make the best environment. I went and met Tony Adams quite recently. I went and saw him about kind of captain as you get older, how do you get the best out of your body, transition, charity, whatever it be. And I said I do X, Y and Z, but I don't do anything properly. And he, and he just said, stop, stop for a minute right there. And he said, that, that's the problem. You're trying to find something to match what you do now. That's the biggest thing I think when guys retire or get injured or whatever it is. You're always looking for something to replicate that, run that in front of 80,000 people, 15,000 people, that camaraderie, the banter in the change room. And you have to accept that that chapter was brilliant, but unfortunately that chapter's over. For me, I need to have other avenues, otherwise I find I, I get that burnout. I can't just train, 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 and then go home, sit on the sofa every night. I need something just to make your mind think differently, to interact with different people. Of course, the rugby is your, your first priority and you need to make sure that on a Saturday you are ready. You can't be out every night doing X, Y and Z. Um, but for me, it's hugely important to have that balance. Hello. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Very good. Thank you very much. Hopefully that's OK. That looks gorgeous. Thank Black you. coffee, I'm OK with it. Perfect. Hot milk. Easy. It's an awesome day. We need to be cosy. Exactly. Don't we? The qualities that rugby players have, there's leadership roles, there's working in the team environment, there's working under duress, stress, different uh, personalities in there. How do you get the best out of people? Which means you are very suited to working in the workplace and different environments. So no, I think it's, it's very encouraging that guys are developing those skills without even realising, so that when they do have to make that next career path and that next kind of transition into the workplace, they're ready for it. Whenever we're at Penny Hill Park, it's only about 35 minutes from the, the Winchester branch, so we, we pop down every now and then on the day off. I think Elliot, we got him behind the machine, him and Jamie, a couple of times, who, who I think they've worked on their coffee abilities since then, um, but at the time it wasn't too great, and he, he gave a bit of the big one, and it didn't come out. He blamed the coffee machine. So I am probably, I reckon, one of the only people to uh, co-own a coffee shop and not actually like coffee. Um, which is one of the rugby guys' favourite things. Um, so yeah, I, I have a mocha or hot chocolate, green tea, milkshake, whatever it be. Um, but yeah, I'm not actually a fan of coffee for some reason. I love the smell. Um, but yeah, I know, I know it's a quality product that we sell though, so make sure you come. <laughs> 